You know, I, I have taken a road trip or two um, in my life, and if you do a 300 miler, you are bound to need to go to the bathroom. And that is probably why the prison transport carrying Lori Vallow needed to make a pit stop at a gas station right off the interstate. That was a shock to the people who were there, especially the manager of, quote, pit stop gas station in Declo, Idaho. Jennifer Willow couldn't believe her eyes when Lori Vallow stepped out of the prison transfer, and she is with me live now. Jennifer, I would have been shocked too, but you recognized her right away? I did, I recognized her right away. Um, and what happened? So she pulled up, uh, well, a whole bunch of white vehicles pulled up in front of our store, and we seen one guy get out, he had a badge on around his neck and a chain, and he got out and he was standing there, and there was another, vehicle he went over and talked to them and we could see that there was another officer in there and so we thought oh well they're stopping to stretch their legs because we often get officers in our um store uh you know they just stop and you know stretch their legs buy some gas grab a soda whatever you know we it's it happens pretty often so i didn't really think much of it and i you know i turned around and I was um, actually counting down my till and there was a customer in front of me and I chit chatted with them for a minute and the door opened and I looked and I'm like, I just gasped. I, I didn't, I, I, I know I didn't, oh. and I said, that's Lori Daybell. And somebody says, who? And I says, Lori Vallow Daybell. And they're like, who's that? And at that moment, she just kind of turned and looked at me. And then they kept walking past me and they, they went and to our restroom. So question, so she went to the restroom. Uh, I'm assuming she had leg shackles and cuffs and that she was escorted by a female officer yeah, into the restroom. So, and then what happened with was, the male uh, you know, officers who guarded all the doors? I mean, how, how much security was there? There was there was six or seven officers. I, I'm not exactly sure on the number because I, I, you know, you're, you're counting like who's standing in front. So there was two officers um, that stood on the back side of the store by the by where the restrooms were. Um, one in front of the door that goes into our kitchen where our grill is, and he there's a back door right there. He kind of guarded that. There was an officer standing at each one of my north and south entrance doors, and then there was you know the one standing at the door, and then there was a female officer that went inside to the restroom with her. So what? happened uh, once she was finished her five or six minutes in the ladies room and the whole, you know, entourage left your gas station and you were just kind of left there by yourself. Like what, what'd you do after she left? So as she was walking out, um, I heard the bathroom door open and I kind of looked and I'm like, I got to get a picture of this. And I was, you know, you're kind of thinking like, Oh my gosh, can I take a picture? Is it legal for me to take a picture? You know, I didn't know for sure. And so she was so she's walking up and she walks right within arm's length of me. And she turns her head and she looks at me and she smiles. And then, then that's what I knew. I'm like, there's no way I'm not getting a picture of this lady. So she they walk outside, and the minute she walked outside, I have big windows in the front of my store, and that's when I snapped the picture. Is it true that you and your colleagues burned sage inside the store after she left? We did, <laughs> we did. So um, it's kind of a, a Native American um, indigenous people thing that they, you know, they burn sage to warrant bad things from happening or get rid of the bad things that have happened. And so <clears throat> one of my coworkers actually had some sage. And so she, we, went, we burned it in the bathroom, we burned it in the store. We're like, we gotta get all that evil out of here. Well, listen, I uh, I sure appreciate the fact that you shared the story with me. It wasn't something I expected to hear, that's for sure. But you've certainly got one for the record books. Jennifer Willett, thanks for doing that. Thanks for being on tonight. Nice to meet you. Yep, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.